Every part of our body needs oxygen to survive. Functions such as digesting food, moving muscles, or even just thinking, all require oxygen. When these processes happen, carbon dioxide is produced as a waste product. The job of your lungs in this system is to provide these processes with oxygen and get rid of the waste gas, carbon dioxide. Sometimes, when people are unwell, their lungs stop working as they should, and they need help getting oxygen into their bodies. A ventilator mechanically pumps oxygen into the body through a tube and can help to save the lives of very sick people. Biomedical engineers design and make all sorts of medical equipment, like ventilators, that are used in hospitals by the NHS every day. In this project, we are going to show you how to make model lungs that simulate the movement of the diaphragm, drawing in and pushing out air from the body. We will also show you how to make a pump which models how ventilators work. For this challenge, you will need the following items, and a full list is available on our website. Let's get started. First, we will construct the part of the model that represents the lungs. Cut one of the drinking straws into two pieces. Then, cut the ends off two large balloons. We will put these to one side for now, as they will be used in later stages of the build. Next, we are going to connect the balloons to the ends of the straws using small elastic bands. Now we will model the trachea using the thicker smoothie straw. Trim the straw, then push the two thinner straws inside. It is important to take care not to crush them, as this will prevent air passing through. To test the flow of air, we will blow into the straw to make sure that both balloons inflate, before sealing any gaps at the end of the smoothie straw with some tape. Now, take the plastic bottle, which will act like ribs in this model, and cut the bottom off. Then, pull one of the ends of the balloon, which we saved earlier, over the neck of the bottle. We will then tape the rubber from the balloon around the trachea to create an airtight seal. To complete the lung model, we will add a diaphragm. For this, we need another balloon, which we tie a knot in and cut across the middle. Then, tightly stretch the balloon over the end of the bottle. As you can see, when the knotted end of the balloon, or diaphragm, is pulled down, it creates more space inside the bottle. Air then comes down the straw, or trachea, and fills the balloons, or lungs, with some air to fill the space. When the knot is let go, the space no longer exists, so the air from the balloons is expelled, making them deflate. Now we will make the ventilator. Begin by cutting another balloon in half, then trimming the other drinking straw, and connecting it to cut down the balloon using a small elastic band. Next, we will connect one of the ends of the balloon, which we saved earlier, to the other end of the straw. This will create the connector between the pump and the trachea, we then stretch a larger section of the balloon over a jar to trap air inside. Finally, use a shoebox to house the pump so that it can easily be connected to the lung model. First, cut off one side of the box, then cut a hole in the top the same diameter as the jar. Now we can see that when the balloon on the top of the jar is pressed down, the volume on the jar inside decreases, which increases air pressure and forces air out of the jar, down the straw, to the trachea. This air then inflates the balloon lungs. You can find out more about the science behind this invention, step-by-step -step instructions, and a quiz to test your knowledge in our accompanying worksheet. And for more hands-on projects to try at home, visit imece.org forward slash stem at home.